Anderson, South Carolina. It is January 10, January 10, 2019. The microwaves that you see are right there, making those fancy ripples in that cloud substance that was manufactured by the aerosol spraying. But as you can see, the microwaves, yeah, have been uh, pretty intense. And when you see any kind of cloud now, what you see are the microwaves. So anybody who thinks that what they are looking at is natural and they're not questioning what is going on in our sky well, unfortunately, they are brain dead. And therefore, they can only be a useful idiot, not useful in getting any of this stopped. Not natural, artificial, man-made, It has been going on for many, many years, and unfortunately, it has only gotten worse. So when, you know, Harvard's David Keith comes out and talks about, oh, we're going to be doing geoengineering experiments, you know, scope X, we've got to spray aerosols into the sky so that we can dim the sun and curb global warming. Anybody at this point, if you haven't seen the geoengineering and the dimming of the sun, the uh, aerosol spraying and then those aerosols just widen and get thicker and bye-bye sun. You had sun just a little while ago, but now the sun is gone. Well, are you not putting together that they have actually been doing this geoengineering for a long time? Are you not putting together that you are being so grossly lied to and being made a fool of? Oh, please, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Interesting, there goes a plane, which don't know if I can get it. But it's not leaving any kind of, well, contrail? No. So, how is it that you have planes that just fly and leave no contrail, and then you have planes that leave a contrail that stay right smack in the sky? Don't go anywhere. Expand. Please, please use your critical thinking. Please return to logic, the use of logic. It's really good. It's really good. Hang on to it. It's there somewhere in your brain. I know it. All you have to do is flip that switch back on. And voila, you'll see the world with a whole new eye. Suddenly you will see reality for what it is instead of the reality that really has just, you've allowed yourself to be engineered, you know, Move along. All you have to do is stare at your phone. That's all. Don't look up. Just stare at that phone. Stare at that phone. And don't think anything of import. Don't use your brain. Don't use your brain. We'll do the thinking for you. Turn on mainstream media. News. You won't have to ever think again. 
please give it up. Please look at these microwaves that we are saturated in. Very dangerous. They're very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. To all life. To all life. Not just the two-legged, but the four-legged. Callie. The trees that are so diseased here. It's really sad. They're all dying. They're all diseased. And it's not from global warming or climate change. It's actually from all of the toxic aerosol spraying. The aluminum. Everything they're spraying in our atmosphere comes down right smack into soil. And, well, one of the things they're spraying is fungi. So you have an awful lot of trees that are covered in fungal disease. Every tree here is covered in fungal disease. And it is one of the reasons why you only need a little bit of wind or just a little bit of rain to take these guys down. Oop! And they hit a power line and you have a power outage or they hit your home and then you have the expense of repairs. But it's not natural. You think this guy looks natural to you? Look how much it's spread already. Do we have any wind? Is there any wind? Is there any wind? See any wind? No. But all of that. From the start of this video until now has expanded greatly. Yep, they're taking away our sun. They can use the frequencies to expand the contrail. Now, the reason why people call them the chemtrail is because they're loaded with chemicals and heavy metals. And that term, by the way, chemtrails, well, it was a term created by the U.S. Air Force. Their chemtrail manual their teaching manual of chemtrails. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing the world we're living in.